Hello, in this video I'm going to unbox and review this absolutely amazing microphone by Heil Sound, the Finn microphone. This is kind of a retro microphone and by the way, this closure, this was sent to me by Heil Sound and this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to work with them because I really love the way this microphone looks and sounds of course so let's see what will we get in the box so this is how it looks a really minimalistic and nice box this is something that i can't stress enough about uh, heil sound packages because they don't seem that they like to waste paper okay so that's nice you have this thank you note and also the sticker as usual this pocket where you can store the microphone this is a cushion pocket there you go let me show you okay it's, it has a, enough padding nice you have the models of this microphone you have this black black and blue black and black i think this one is black and red, and this chrome, blue, white, red. Oh, this is, seems to be white. Okay, so we have more information. Output connection. This is an XLR microphone, so I'm sorry this doesn't work with USB connections. So you can't connect this directly to your computer. Frequency response 50 Hz to 18 kilohertz. This is a cardioid microphone, which is not good. And the good thing about cardioid microphones is that they reject sound, for instance, coming from the surroundings, which is nice. Rear rejection 80, 180 degrees off axis, minus 30 decibels, impedance 600 ohms balanced, output level minus 55 decibels at 1 kilohertz, weight it's a heavy microphone so this will be good to test the boom arm almost 25 oz max spl 142 decibels okay you have also here the behavior of the microphone here you see the polar pattern here as you can tell it's a cardioid so let's see oh and look how this beauty looks one important thing and Usually this is not a problem, but I need to mention this in order to the lights to work You need to turn off the phantom power. Okay, so let's do this And now this one I have to show you closely So you can see how awesome this microphone looks This is absolutely a beauty look it has here the connection to the boom arm or a tripod a stand and here you have the XLR input okay I think I'm gonna remove this okay so I can use this in my boom arm and look here we have this high branding this let me bring this here okay i think i'm gonna turn this up so it looks a little bit more and this will be in a test to this boom arm as well the pl2t because this is really a heavy microphone Just, okay. And as you can see, it stays in the same place, the boom arm, so it is really sturdy. Okay, I need to do this. Okay, there you go. Up. There you go. So as you can see, the lights are not on. I need to turn front and power, and this hopefully will turn them on. 
can okay maybe I need to change the cable let me use this one <laughs> there you go so now you can see the lights just let me turn a little bit let me turn this off this one and now you can see the lights here let me see how it sounds because of course the lights are fancy but what we want is the sound hello everybody so this is how this high of microphone sound let me test it a little bit okay i'm gonna put it like this Love me tender, love me dear. Oh my God, this is a pretty awesome microphone. Let me turn it. Out. I think this would be better to use with some kind of extension or something. Maybe this boom arm, it's not the best one to use it. Or let me try this. I think it's better to use a different kind. Okay, let me turn it the other way. Okay, so yes, we have some problems here, but as you can tell, the sound, it's awesome coming from this microphone. Let me try the proximity effect. There's no, and the thing, I think that the, the diaphragm, maybe it's away, so this is how there's no that much proximity effect. Let me try with the plosives. Please, pizza, pepperoni. I think it's the same. Okay, because also it has some filtering here in the front. Maybe I didn't love you quite as good as I should have. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe I didn't hold you this microphone sounds pretty nice as you can listen so let me try this a little bit more away okay and this side and this side so this is a cardioid microphone so when you move you will lose sound that's how it is for me this is good because for instance if the studio the office where you are if you have some noise sources it's better to use this it's because the sound will be rejected let me show you I'm gonna click the mouse and let's see if we listen while I'm clicking. Nothing. Let me use the keyboard. I don't think there's that much sound coming. Let me tap the boom arm. Well, a little, yes, but I'm not using um, a shock mount okay but actually and i'm gonna uh, show you i'm gonna turn off the phantom power and the light goes off okay so 
your audio interface or mixer needs to have phantom power for you to have the light just light the sound as you can tell go comes through as well so let me turn the lights off and just have this okay maybe i need at least one on and this is marco novo radio station reviewing <laughs> this absolutely amazing microphone by Heil the Fin. thank you so much for watching see you later bye bye